positioned on the banks of the River Douro, Porto has a long and varied history that dates back to Roman times. But what made the city famous throughout the world? The drink they named after it, port. Produced here for nearly 400 years, a Portuguese drink that's quintessentially British, I think it's time to revisit this classic. A UNESCO World Heritage Site, the picturesque Douro Valley is the only area where ports can be produced and is a great day trip from the celebrity cruises destinations of Porto and Lisbon. The Symington family are the leading vineyard owners in the Douro Valley. A family-run port producer whose involvement in making port dates back to 1652. They make wines for some of the best port houses in Porto and are a perfect place to begin. Charles, what makes the Douro Valley so special? The Douro probably produces about a third of what is the normal quantity of grapes per hectare. And this allows for fruit to become extremely ripe, very concentrated. Porto is different from most other wines in the world because brandy is added to the fermenting must, so only half of the sugar is turned into alcohol. And the system of treading by foot allows extracting the color and the structure from the skins in a quick form. We have developed a modern system of treading, which involves a machine that replicates the treading. Charles, who taught you to make port? I learned from my father, who was the main winemaker for 40 years in the company, and he himself would have learned from his father previous to that. In the family, we've probably been making port now for over 100 years, and it's that sort of continuity of house style which, uh, which makes the difference. Wines made in the Douro Valley traditionally travel down the river to the port houses of Porto to be aged and then shipped across the world. Paul, can you tell me what happens now that the port has arrived at the port house? You have two completely different types of port. Port aged in bottle and port aged in wood. And wood ports is a good ruby port, a reserve, a late bottle vintage. We put them into uh, either big vats or casks and we just age them. And then when a waitress sends an order to us, we, we will bottle it and ship it over. Vintage port is different. After two years, we take it out of the barrel and then it's aged in bottle. And over five, 10, 15, 20 years, some really magic stuff happens. So it means you've got your everyday port and then one for occasions. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Most port is drunk around Christmas, but 10 or 20 year old tawny, chilled, is fantastic to drink on a hot summer's day. So it's like a refresher, a summer. Yeah, like an aperitif. That's actually changed port for me. This is Graham's uh, 2009 late bottle vintage. I can get the LBV in Waitrose. Yeah, it's classic great port. Beautifully balanced, aroma of nice fresh red berry fruit coming up to the nose. It's a lovely big rich mouth uh, filling wine. Oh yeah, that's really fantastic. Port is deeply rooted in the history and culture of Porto and the Douro Valley. Coming here gives you a real sense of the passion behind its production. A fantastic drink to enjoy all year round. 